So now we got channel two going. And then let's see, I think I had one more output. Yes, the notch from the A121 over here. It's actually gonna be going out. And then that's gonna be going down into number four input. There we go. And then the only other thing that we had, A110, VCO, Let's see we need a saw from here. And this is the one in the bottom. And we're taking saw out and then over to our audio in of our BBD right here. There we go. And then we're gonna be going out from our BBD, which is this output right here. There we go. And then going down, all the way down to input three. All right, so that's what we got so far. And I think we got all four of them set up. So now what I wanted to show you so that you can see it is where our morph controller is gonna come in and how it's gonna sort of affect uh, our four sources. So if I, let's see, I'll need to bring this up a little bit. Okay. So right there, I'm at about a three. So if I bring it down, then we have no sound. If I bring it up, you should be hearing it on the far left. And then if I bring it about there, you hear it somewhere about 11 o'clock. If I bring it over, you should hear it at about two o'clock now. And if I bring it all the way over, you should hear a notch all the way on the far right. If I go up here, I can adjust that. Okay, so now for a little bit more fun. Uh, we're gonna actually modulate that morphing controller because you know we can sit here and move it. Over far left, middle, over on the far right. But it's much more fun if we don't have to manually do that. So let me get a cable. And I had a really specific setting that I found was kind of a sweet spot for this. So I think I had it right at about three. If you'll excuse me here. And then I just took this A147 saw wave out and then patched it into CVN. So let's try that out and hopefully it'll move through the four sources. And there's a little click right there. Just gonna experiment a little bit with the signal level. So that's our input number one, far left. So it should jump in a moment. There we go. Okay, that's the first one. Or actually four, so we're going in reverse. Three, and then two. And then we should go to one here in a moment. Yeah, there we go. And there's a little bit of a click there. So I'd have to uh, maybe kind of play around with this a little bit to see if where that little sweet spot is. Because ideally what I wanted to do is go through each one of the four channels there. And there it jumped a little bit too soon. And so at this point, what I could do to try and get it in the right position is kind of go in and adjust my manual morph. Um, at one point, I had been recommended to uh, sort of stick with the 50% uh, right there. But for whatever reason, it didn't seem to pan through each one of those. Let me try it at 50% and see if you, we get different results this time around. 
So right there we're on channel 3 about 2 o'clock. And we're at about 11 o'clock, channel 2. And then it kind of jumps all the way over to the right. So I kind of found better results maybe down here. And I actually think I started in reverse when I did this the first time. And I made sure I had channel 1, which is right there. Make sure my CVs are up all the way. There we go, we're at 11 o'clock, and then we should be going to the far left. There we go. So there's our phase lock loop signal, and then a little pop. And that's sort of inherent um, in sort of a patch where you have a modulation signal going in. Uh, now, I could do a few things to sort of soften it, do some additional processing to this, uh, or I could also maybe go in and uh, maybe play with the CV control here. Uh, but for the most part, that is the patch that we sort of saw a little bit earlier uh, on our A144 manual. Kind of jumping through each one of those sort of sound patches. I'm going to unpatch that so we don't get that nasty little click. And I'm just going to manually morph it. At any rate, uh, this is going to be the first example that we'll be showing. Uh, in this series. Uh, just wanted to get the basic idea out there uh, in case you have never experienced this before. Uh, I know I may have kind of gone fast if this is the first video that you've ever watched of Rawls World of Sense. Uh, but at any rate, uh, if you are curious about some of these other modules that I sort of implemented into this patch, you know, A156, I didn't talk about what that does. I have a video series on that. A196, I have a video series on that. Uh, A110 video series on that, uh, A135 I believe I did a few videos, and then A149 of course, as well as the ones I mentioned before, the A144, um, and then over on the far, far right, of course, the A188-1 BBD module, that was actually my first series. Um, so if you want to see those in a little bit more depth, I do encourage you to watch that uh, series that you might be more interested in. Uh, but in the next video, uh, we're going to sort of tackle a different take on Quadraphonic, which actually um, is from the approach of the patch that you may have seen if you visited the A174 joystick series over here. Um, and it might be a little bit off camera, the A174. Uh, but at any rate, um, if you didn't, then you'll see that kind of uh, investigated as well. Uh, thing to note about the next video is uh, I actually shot it immediately after I did the A174 series. So when you watch it, uh, it's going to actually make mention of the A174 series. I decided to split that those two videos off um, for some other reasons. So that way it wouldn't kind of confuse the series and I get off on this quadraphonic tangent. Uh, at any rate, thank you very much for watching, and uh, hope to see you next time, and keep on patching out there.